Hi, we're going to draw a picture together. My name is John Stephen Gurney, and if you want to draw along, please do. Go get a piece of paper and get a pen or pencil. I've got my pen. I've got my paper. If you need to go get yours, hit the pause button and I'll wait. Got it? Okay. So what you do is get your paper. The first thing you're going to do is draw the big number eight. And I should tell you first, just do what I do at the same time, and they'll be surprised at the end of the picture. So start off a big number eight, like that. Okay. Did you do that? Very good. Now let's do another eight inside the top circle. And this is going to be a sideways eight, kind of like an infinity sign, but with big round circles. So have you guys done that? Doesn't look very hard, right? Good. So let's draw a big jelly bean, right like that, kind of a big oval. Now let's draw an upside down V right there. What is that? Hmm, have to wait and find out. You'll figure it out before it's over. It's not too hard. So now we're going to make a sun, and we're going to put a sun right there. I made some lines sticking out like that. Okay, and let's do another sun over here on this side. A circle, and then some lines going out like that. Okay, now let's put a squiggly line like that. Now let's put a smile inside the jelly bean like that. Okay, you guys keeping up? Now let's go right here to this part of the circle and make a line that comes out and down like that. And let's do the exact same thing on the other side. And if you guys are bright, you kind of begin to figure out what we're drawing. And inside the sun here, let's put a, another circle. Now let's put another circle over here. And we're going to color in these circles we just made and we're going to leave a little white area blank. So that's for the shiny white spot. So you guys must know by now that we're making an owl, right? You figured that out? Very good. So let's give the owl, he's a horned owl, so we're going to put some feathers on his head like that. Okay, and just do the same thing over here. Goes up and wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, now we're going to give a pattern and let's do kind of a ocean wave pattern and that's going to give a suggestion of feathers. So this area gets filled in with this kind of ocean wave pattern. Some people call it a scallop. Okay, and we're doing the exact same thing over here. Let's give them some wings. So the wings, we don't have room for the wings to go all the way out, so let's just kind of um, come out to the side a little bit and do that little, little scallop motion again. Over here, like that. And let's give them some feet. And owls, I think, really have two toes that go forward and two that go back. But, you know, for the way the picture, I like it better the way it looks with three toes sticking in the front. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get written up by the Audubon Society. But this is just the way I like to draw my owl feet like that. And it's always good to, you know, add a pattern. So if we can put some stripes on the toes, maybe. And you just drew an owl. I hope it came out good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's fine away. Uh-oh. Thank you. Now go turn off the computer and draw your own thing.